Happy Power Move Monday, everyone. This week, we're gonna take our credit back. And what do I mean by that? Well, have you ever been in a meeting, stated a really great idea, and no one reacts, but then five minutes later, some individual says the exact same thing, and everyone cheers and claps? Well, I'm gonna give you four tips for how to manage that. Either you reclaim it, or you let it go. Um, I've been reading a lot about this and I found four articles that I'm gonna reference and four ways to actually handle this. Depends on your personality, might even depend on your mood, and it even might depend on the environment that you work in. One article I read was out of the Harvard Business Review and it's called Seven Tricky Situations and How to Respond to Them. And in this article, the author argues that you can say one statement and help redirect and reclaim your idea. Thanks for spotlighting my point. I would also suggest something like, thank you for your support. Now let me suggest some ideas for moving this forward. Either one of those could work. Be sure to always stay composed when you say this. Do not have a sarcastic tone. You never want your behavior to come into question. This approach allows you to reclaim your idea and regain the floor so you can expand on the idea. A second article I read in Forbes Online entitled, Women's Ideas, Do Men Intentionally Steal Them? Great article, interesting perspective, and this author talks about why this could be happening even subconsciously. And she states that men, when men speak, they speak very declaratively. The tie is red. There's no question, there's no room for discussion, there's no room for debate. When women speak, we are looking to persuade, we use a lot of disclaimers. The tie is red, right? That's a problem and that shows low self-confidence. And the author also says that this happens often to minorities, whether they're men or women. And the key here is to be confident. The tie is red, there's no question about it. So why say it in the form of a question? Why try to persuade people that, it, that it's red when it's clearly red? I wanna really stress the point that confidence makes a huge difference in how something is received. At work, in life, at home, you don't think it's brilliant, that room is not gonna think it's brilliant. And when someone picks up the ball and repeats your idea in a way that is confident, and seems as if they can execute, then it's going to leave a bad taste in your mouth. A third article in Money Watch entitled, Is Someone Stealing Your Ideas? Let Them, argues that there are no finite number of ideas and that no idea is original. Instead, the author recommends that we stop worrying about who's stealing whose idea and whose idea it was. Confident people don't keep track of every idea every day. The bottom line, she argues, is that having an idea is not enough anyway. Ideas have to be executed, they have to be planned, they have to be thought through, and you can still be part of that process. Not to mention, if you're great at what you do, you'll have another idea five minutes later. And the final article that I read is from Huffington Post Canada. It's called, If Someone Steals Your Idea, Be Flattered. She argues that if we were able to copyright ideas, creativity would actually be stifled. Instead, a quote unquote stolen idea is an opportunity to tweak it, make it better, and potentially even collaborate. It's also an opportunity to come up with an even better idea that's even more brilliant. You see, there's more than one way to skin a cat. What does that even mean? But you know, there's more than one way to get to the finish line. You can whine, you can be angry about someone stealing your idea. If this bothers you, then take the floor back. Don't just sit back silently and let someone quote unquote steal your idea, but you have to find ways to do it where people still have respect for you, where you can regain the floor and reclaim the idea, but then don't stop there. Execute this idea that you're so overprotective about and make it something great. If you do the opposite, and call someone out in the middle of a meeting saying, hey, I just said that, you stole my idea. You're gonna come off as unprofessional and immature. Whatever power move fits your style and your mood, be sure that your behavior is never in question. I firmly believe this. If the behavior continues, 
point it out to your supervisor and then give him or her a look when it happens again at a meeting if they didn't believe you. And if it continues to happen without anyone noticing or at the expense of your livelihood, then you must consider leaving. If your ideas are being commandeered consciously or subconsciously, then there's a big chance that another company or institution will recognize your brilliance and hire you and won't take you for granted. Hashtag Power Move Monday, hashtag solutions, not resolutions. You got this.